Okay, so what is contribution? Where do you get it from? And what is it good for? This is what we're going to be talking about in this video. Now, let's start with the first part. What is contribution? So like contribution is basically a set amount of points which you get in exchange for doing certain tasks for certain NPCs. So like in other words, when you do quests, you get a certain amount of EXP that EXP gathers up. Once you reach a certain threshold, you get one point of contribution. That number of EXP changes as you get more. So uh, basically there is at some point like a soft cap for it. Um, I believe it's somewhere around like 450 right now. I'm not sure exactly, but basically that's what a contribution is. And uh, you can check your contribution points like above your HP bar to the right side of your uh, energy. Uh, basically has this symbol that looks like a like a upside down pincer or something uh, right now for me it says like on the left 59 which is uh, the amount of contribution I have right now and on the right side it says 386 which is the uh, amount of contribution I have total uh, now let's see uh it's important to notice that like contribution as opposed to energy does not replenish like it, it's basically like a, a trading material it's like it's like a trading card you know you you gotta give a contribution in exchange for different stuff but you can always take it back so like you don't get more contribution as time passes like you would get energy now let's see where do you get it from. so like i did mention this already but as you're doing quests um you will get a lot of like contribution and let me show you right here so we got a uh, like quest going on uh unfortunately i have no main quest on this character but if we go like to different uh quests here see it says like say i got this combat quest level 60 i pressed on the first quest and right here it says contribution exp 300 and like most most quests would give you like contribution exp and there's also like reoccurring uh like quests that also give you contribution exp and there's a bunch of them so like you can do like a daily contribution quests to get more contribution if you'd like uh there's also like a, a quest uh from liana in each uh, like city uh basically she gives you this weekly quest as long as your contribution is like somewhere between uh 220 and 350 i believe uh and this weekly quest will help you like grow up your contribution further uh, but this is only between 220 and 350 contribution points in my case i have more than that so the quest doesn't show up for me but yeah the npc is called liana if you want to find her it's probably gonna be here uh, you press this like loop near your uh, minimap and you type uh, Liana and it should find it look like it's Liana in uh, Balenos, Serendia, like in Vele and Heidel and in Calpheon you can find her um, other than quests there's one other there's like other ways to get contribution and another good way is if you let's say we go this is my farming character and when you're farming like when whenever you're doing a lot of the um like life skills you will get byproducts so like you'll get byproducts from farming you'll get byproducts from uh cooking you'll get byproducts from alchemy from like uh horses and and like all of those byproducts have an exchange list like this one right here uh i've shown you this one before uh, but like basically as you can see like the the blush leaf is the byproduct from farming right now and you can exchange it from the for different stuff and you can see right there on the list it says 20 blush leaf you can exchange it for like 900 contribution exp and 30 farming exp so like basically if you exchange it in bulk so like right now i have 4000 it's gonna be 4000 multiplied by 900 and you get that much contribution exp so the byproducts are a pretty good way to increase your contribution um and like 
like I said, this is this is for farming. Uh, I should also have. Let me check. So I should have um, which uh, delicacy. Like this is the one I have it in Heidel storage. Is from cooking, and you can see this one gives me like I can get beer, milk, and 900 contribution exp, just like the other one. Now the exchange rate is different. You get a little bit more from farming than you get from cooking, but it depends how much farming you do. Like you can cook more in one day than you can farm in one day. So like, it really depends on your activities. And like um, another good way to do this is uh, like exploring areas. Like a lot of people don't know this, but you actually get a little bit of contribution whenever you discover a new area on the map. So like if you just go around say like you you just started playing the game the, the only areas that you can like properly see is like i don't know olvia uh velia maybe heidel you know calfion but if you go all the way around so like you go to grana you go to duvenkroon and so on and you explore all of those areas and all of those new zones you'll get a little bit of like contribution energy like it's it's not something huge but it does add up a little bit in the beginning when your contribution is like small and it, it requires less exp to get uh, like one point you know uh and there's like another method which is like not really amazing from what i can tell i'm not i'm not sure if it's really good or, or if anyone does this at all but uh i'm just gonna put it out there uh basically during the night there's those uh like nodes you got so like for example um right here we got like um heidel pass for example or like uh there's uh there's gateways uh somewhere left of like uh glish what is it, it oh there it is serendia western gateway so like in those areas there is a chance that monsters will appear and fight the soldiers at the at the gate and uh when they when they fight you can actually help the soldier by killing like the soldiers by killing the uh monster and you'll get a token in exchange and you'll also get some contribution exp uh but, like this is very rare and i don't think anybody does this i'm not sure if it's even like good uh but if it is hey let me know in the comments i don't know um never seen anybody do that that's what i'm saying but like okay so you you can uh like you you can get contribution in all those different ways but like what is it really good for right why are we getting this uh contribution for well first of all i'm just gonna show you uh there's certain items that you can get in exchange for contribution so like right here we got normal light or or late i don't know how to read that uh and if you press on chat you'll see that she will rent you different objects for contribution so like see this this inverted pincer means contribution and this is like for 50 points out of the 59 that i have left i can actually get uh one of those items and this is a pretty good one like if you if you want to do life skills in the beginning those are pretty good now let me let me show you if you press here it's gonna show you the item and this is the item and it's pretty good for starters like if you have nothing this one is pretty good and you can also repair it so like as opposed to magical tools which are gone once you use them you can actually repair those so like it's really good to have as a beginner uh it it's caught it costs like 50 contribution points sure it's really expensive but uh if you if you're not gonna use them for anything else so, which i hope you will um it, it, this is also an option and like getting one of those tools might be okay because getting to 300 contribution is not that hard uh but yeah like this is for life skillers um obviously there's other items you can exchange it for so um you can get it like you can get strong fence uh i can show you like let me see uh this is my garden and uh you can see here in my garden i have like strong fair fence garden and it's like about 10 of them uh you can get those from like uh a, like all sorts of different npcs around different towns i'll put up a list on the screen for you to see uh, who you can get the strong fence from basically this is like the best fence you can get for uh farming and uh like 
it, the only way to get them is by going to this NPC and exchanging uh, like contribution for the fence. I believe it's like 10 contribution for one fence. You need 10 fences to do farming and one fence you can actually get for free. It's like a once per family kind of quest, which actually gives you one fence that is just as good for free. So like technically only need nine. So you'll use like 90 contribution on farming and the uh, like 10 is for free because of the quest they added. So uh, that's also pretty good. Also, you can also get uh, like all sorts of like musical instruments. Uh, I, I think it's just two actually. I think it's the flute. If you type in the like, if you go here uh, at find NPC and you type like the the item you want for contribution, it's actually gonna uh, search and find you the NPC. So if you want to give the item back to the NPC, but you forgot what NPC it is, you can go like say strong fence right and see like it says here uh, in velia it's npc zaira in heidel it's flaviano this is the guy i picked that i picked mine from um and if you if you search for different items you can actually find the npc like this as well so if i like flute the flute is a, a like uh one of the instruments you can get with cp you can see like in uh, velia it's pulvio in olvia it's kafu and such like Kuya in Heidel and so on. So like you can see and it's, it, it tells you right here CP flute one. So like it's one CP for in, in exchange for the flute. And there's like also drum uh, or like wait drums. I, I actually don't know what, what, what they're called like. But there's also some drums. Um, I believe uh, they come from... Uh, from another NPC, but I, I complete. Oh, I think the drums are from a quest, actually. No, no, there's this small drum. I think it's from core core leader or something. I mean, small drum. Oh, I can't find this one. But there's a guy in uh, Calfion which you can actually get the the small drums from. Um. Also, there's um like the most important thing you can do with contribution so like once you like figured if you want any items or and such i would go to the map and like all of those things around the map that look like a spider web past the farm and wolf hills those are all nodes and you can invest points into them in order to like get the different benefits so for example we got olvia here right near olvia i got whale farm and casta farm so i if i press on casta farm it says olives i know this is an olives node i can add workers to this node and they will just gather olives for me and if you look in olvia i have like 64k olives gathered and then on Casta Farm, I got uh, grapes. They are gathering grapes for me right now. Like my artisan goblin is gathering grapes. And if we look in Olvia uh, storage, I got like 76k grapes. Now, in order to get workers to work on those nodes, you have to go to the node. And right here, you need to invest contribution. Now, if you have a value pack, you can do this from a distance. And it costs an energy per investment. So yeah, it costs energy to invest from a distance. But if you this works only if you have a value pack. If you don't have value pack, uh, well, you have to go for example, like here, Thermian Cliff is basically the NPC for this node as far as I'm concerned. And uh, the only way is to go all the way here and talk to this NPC and you can invest like directly. But yeah, it, it sucks like that, I know. Uh, but yeah, once you invested the point, uh, it's gonna go from gray, like see it's grayed out here. And uh, if I invest the point, now it's no longer gray. And sometimes it just like shows you stuff like this, like you didn't, you wouldn't know beforehand, but now you do know. Uh, and like if we do this now, 
it's it shows the copper ore here right now you can gain copper ore from this node so like if you invest in this node then you invest in copper ore and then you can put a worker to gather the stuff for you and it's gonna go into the closest storage which in my case is gonna be like uh old yeah so that's uh that's one reason you use a uh, contribution so if you want items transported from uh, heidel to velia there's a small price if uh, the towns aren't connected to each other so like that's kind of like one of the problems uh but like generally speaking you don't really have to have uh the the, the towns connected um but like other than this uh you can also get and this is like kind of the last thing and the most important thing you can get housing and like housing helps you out in so many ways and i'll explain how i'll we'll just go to heidel because it's like a bigger city and it has like everything i want to explain about but like technically if you look here uh like you go on the map you click on heidel and you're gonna see uh, all of those like little houses some are grayed out some of them are white and some of them are blue now what's going on here is this grayed out houses you need to invest in previous houses in order to get to them uh blue houses are the ones you can invest uh right away on and like white houses are the ones you've already invested in and there's different types of stuff you can get here so for example here uh, i picked up lodging it shows with the arrow here uh it's it, it ha have this like um a brown arrow showing me uh, that i picked up lodging and it says you have one more workers so you can hire one more worker and basically what does this mean like uh, you can only hire workers if you have a place for them to crash you know so like this is basically the house uh, the worker is sitting in when he's like chilling i don't know and uh, like this you you would need lodging in order to have like more workers so like when you look you have like uh this search bar in the corner right here and you can just like uh write i think i can write lodging and it just shows you all of the lodging houses and uh you can see like all four here for me are lodging and uh, the arrow just points at them so like it confirms um another thing you can do you can get a residence like i do like i have here uh i i got a residence and uh this residence is basically your house you can just uh add like furniture to it and like uh holy shit can i just like stop this yeah okay thank you it went a little bit crazy for a second but yeah in the residence you can put up furniture and stuff there's furniture that gives you buffs and different kind of like uh like um bonuses and stuff so like what you want to do is have like at least a small residence for starters just so you can place those objects in and make use of them and also like if you want to cook and if you want to do like alchemy and shit like that you need like an uh, like an utensil and you need to place it in a house in order to use it so you would need a residence for that and uh, then like it comes like the one of the most important things in the beginning if you notice i don't have any but storage adds three more spaces in the storage so like i'm in heidel right now since i've already bought with money all of the places in storage in heidel i no longer need to invest contribution in this but if you invest contribution in like storage it'll just add you spaces in the storage of the specific town so it's good to pick one town where you're just gonna put all of your main shit and then in other towns you just like put small stuff in order to like organize your shit so just pick one town put most of your shit in there and purchase storage with contribution until you like either you want to pay money and just like get all of them with cash which is not expensive at all uh or um, i don't know you you've sorted your shit out better so now you don't you no longer need all of those uh, like spaces but uh storage is really good and like it it costs like it's different like contribution costs 
So like right here, we get like five storage for two contribution points, which is really good. Uh, the gist is you want to get more storage than you pay contribution for. So like it's never, there's houses that are gonna be like, so for example, uh, let's see, is, there's gotta be one. Um, so like here you get like three levels of storage for like four contribution. Yeah, I don't, this is not a good exchange because like gen, there's there's better exchanges because like you get two contribution points for five spaces in the other one you get four uh contribution for eight spaces so like you can see that's it's a little bit better of a ratio in the other one uh right here you pay three contribution for three levels so this one is better than the previous one right um so you need to check that out a little bit uh, what's also important, if you want to connect nodes all the way through, like this is uh, this is also really nice. So say I'm in Grana right now, and I want to connect to Fairy Forest, because I don't have anything connected around Grana. Now, if you just go down here, they added this like not too long ago. Uh, if you press on connect no i think it's been one year or something so like, the game's been out for like nine years um so this is pretty cool you press on the bottom there this small menu is gonna come here it's gonna it's gonna say uh like it's, it's gonna be like starting node you click on grana as the starting node and then you select the end node which is uh tooth fairy forest in this case for us and it just shows you the fastest way and the cheapest way to connect the nodes and like and it and it also tells you like uh chosen node count four uh, uh it counts only like three of them uh for the cp and uh like it you can tell because it only takes 30 energy so like it, you don't need to add up energy to tooth fairy forest so it's gonna be just for like flounder white wood forest and tooth fairy forest 30 energy and uh, it tells you it's just seven se uh, contribution points for this and then you just press connect node and it'll do the job for you let's see there we go and they're all connected so if you don't know exactly how to do this just let the game do it for you i don't think the game just like i think it's pretty well done uh there was an online tool for this as well at some point but uh, i think that no longer uh, is necessary so yeah, if you want to connect certain nodes, just pick the first node. You, again, you click here, connect node directly, first node, sec, uh, like last node, and then it just like creates a path for you. And then you press connect node if you're okay with it. And uh, there you got it. So yeah, this is basically it about contribution. Uh, contribution is really useful for, uh, like I said, it's gonna be like a lot of tools in the beginning, in the very beginning, for life skilling and stuff, for uh, like farming, uh, for gathering. Those are really good. Uh, again, you can connect nodes so your workers can work on them and just gather resources for you. Again, for your life skilling and stuff. And um, obviously, the storage room is really good. Uh, lodging for your workers so you can have more workers and uh, there's there's also like a lot of like um, you know workshops and stuff in which you can craft different items but like those uh, like I feel like they need like a separate video about about them technically you can make crates and stuff which you can sell you can create like different tools for uh, like you see fishing rods and stuff this is a level one tool workshop so those are just like bad fishing rods you can make better ones and so on so there's uh there's quite a little bit you can do with contribution in this game anyway if you guys uh like the video maybe you want to leave a like su subscribe and uh if you got any questions you can leave them down below in the comments and uh i guess i'll catch you in the next one hope uh, the video was helpful and uh, yeah i guess have a good day